In this video, I am going to present the exponential form of a complex number, the powers, roots of a complex number, the Moivre's theorem, and the logarithm of complex numbers. Now, for the exponential form of a complex number, this is z equals r, the modulus, times e raised to i theta, the argument. To determine r, we are going to use the same method in finding for the absolute value or the modulus of complex numbers in polar form. So we utilize square root of x squared plus y squared for us to arrive for the value of r. Now take note that theta, the argument here in exponential form must be in radian measure. Now to multiply complex numbers in exponential form, the same idea for multiplying complex numbers in polar form. So we multiply their modulus, so r sub one times r sub two, and we add their arguments, theta sub one plus theta sub two. Again, theta here is in radian measure. To divide complex numbers in, in exponential form, we simply divide the modulus or the absolute value. So that is r sub one divided by r sub two, and we subtract their arguments. So e raised to i times theta sub one minus theta sub two. Now let's go to the power of complex numbers. So let z equals x plus i times y. So this is the rectangular form of complex number. Now find z raised to eight. So if this complex number is being raised to a power integer, n. So we convert first the complex number in rectangular form to the polar form. And once, and once that the complex number is in polar form raised to the power of n, the modulus will be r raised to n. And for the argument, it will be multiplied to the integer n. So n times the argument theta. Remember, if a complex number is being raised to n, the modulus is raised to n and theta is multiplied by n. For example, evaluate z equals the quantity two minus two squared to three times i raised to a power of six. First, we convert this rectangular form to polar form. So we have four argument negative 60 degrees is the equivalent um, complex number in polar form raised to six. So the result will be the modulus four or the absolute value four is being raised to six. And now the argument is multiplied by six. So the result is four raised to six, argument negative 360 degrees. Integer powers of Z or the Moivre's formula. So Abraham de Moivre or de, Mo de Moivre is a French mathematician who pioneered the use of complex numbers in trigonometry and also contributed to probability theory. So this is the de Moivre's formula, z raised to n, complex number raised to n equals r raised to n times cosine n theta plus i sine of n theta. Okay, so similarly, we have this equation, cosine theta plus i sine theta raised to n. So you simply multiply the argument or the angle by n in the same, in the imaginary part of this complex number. So i sine of n theta. So if this is in a format, in a polar format, so you just multiply the theta by the power n. Example. Evaluate the quantity negative one half minus square root of three over two times i raised to three. The first thing that you need to do is to determine the modulus. So we use the formula square root of x squared plus y squared. So x here is negative one half. Negative one half squared is one over four. And the square root of, and the square of negative square root of three over two is three over four. So we have the modulus equal to positive one. Now for the argument theta, so theta is equal to arctangent of y over x. So y here is negative square root of three over two and x is equal to negative one half. So we have theta equal to 240 degrees. Now, 
rewrite the equivalent okay, trigonometric form or polar form where r is equal to one. So cosine theta, theta is 240 degrees plus i sine 240. Okay, since this is raised to power of three, so the modulus will be raised to three since the modulus is one. So one raised to three is just one, still one. And cosine of the argument theta will now be multiplied by the power three. So cosine three times 240, which is cosine 720. And the same in the imaginary part. So if you take, if you use your calculator, so determine sine or input here, sine 720 in your calculator, you will get zero. And cosine of 720, you will get positive one. So the answer here is a real number one. Now for the roots of complex numbers, okay, let z equal to x plus i y. So this is again the rectangular form, find z raised to one over n. So first is to determine or to convert the complex number to polar form. Okay, so you're going to determine r and theta. So the same idea, z raised to one over n is equal to, the modulus will be raised to one over n, and then the argument will be theta plus k, where k is zero, one, two, up to n minus one, okay, times 360 over n. For example, find the four fourth roots of z equals negative four square root of three plus four i. So first, we are going to convert this into polar form. So R will be, so again, the formula for this, or maybe you can use your calculator directly, convert this rectangular form to polar form. So square the first term and then plus square of four. So it will give us, and then get the square root. So you have eight. And then for the argument, so just, it will be arctangent of four, over negative four square root of three. So you have 150 degrees and then it is raised to one over four. So the modulus will be raised to one over four and the argument will have, of course, start with K equal to zero. So you have the following different arguments. Okay, the same modulus applying, of course, K. So you have the first root the first fourth root is 1.68, argument 37.5. The second fourth root using k equal to one is 1.68, argument 127.5 degrees. The third fourth root with k equal to two, so 1.68, argument 217.5 degrees. And the last fourth root at k equal to three, so this is n minus one. Okay, so it's equal to 1.68, argument, 307.5 degrees. Now for the logarithm of complex numbers. So if a complex number in rectangular form, okay, if we are going to get the logarithm of this complex number, so take the logarithm both sides of the equation. So ln of z is equal to ln of x plus i y. So on the right side of the equation, you convert this rectangular form into polar form. And then you convert this one into exponential. So let me just get a pen. Okay, so this will be ln of, so the corresponding exponential function will be r, the modulus, e raised to i times theta, but take note that theta here is in region measure. So this is a prod ln of the product of r times e raised to i theta. So now you can use the property of logarithm. So we have ln of r plus ln of e raised to i theta. Therefore, the ln of z is equal to ln of r plus i theta. So why i theta? Because this one is ln of e and the power will be the coefficient, so i theta. Okay, the property of the logarithmic function. So ln of e is equal to one. That's why we have i theta here. And take note that theta is the argument in radians. Okay, now 
let's find the principal value of z equal to ln of 1 minus i squared to 3. So what you will do first is to convert this rectangular form into polar form, so 2 argument 300 degrees, and convert this into exponential form. So 300 degrees must be converted to region measure, and that is 5 pi over 3. So therefore, ln of 2 plus i 5 pi over 3 is the corresponding principal value. So you may take ln of 2. You may input that in your calculator. So you have 0.693 plus 5.236 i, the principal value of the logarithm of the complex number z equal to ln of 1 minus i squared of 3. Another, another example, determine the principal value of z equal to log of 1 plus i squared of 3 to the base 1 minus i. So we apply this um, logarithmic property when we say log of x to the base y. So we can write log of x over log of y. Or simply, you know, having the modulus here being cancelled. So Similarly, we have ln of x over ln of y. Okay, so thus, this will be equal to ln of 1 plus i squared of 3 over ln of the base, which is 1 minus i. And then you apply um, the logarithm of complex numbers. So ln of 1, I mean, you have to um, convert this first into polar form, 1 plus square root of 3i, so, and then um, you take the ln of the modulus plus, of course, i times theta in re region measure. The same idea for the denominator. So simplifying, okay, so once you divide, so once it is, it's in uh, polar form, or you can use your calculator, directly use your calculator to determine the final answer. So it's 0.198 minus 0.134i. So let me know if you get this answer correctly or if um, you did not. So you can um, ask me for clarification. So follow the process for you know, this um, form of complex numbers. So you must convert this into polar form and then convert to exponential and then you know, take the LN and then divide.